My name is Luke Carruthers, though you might know me as Usual Bloke Luke. For the past three years, I have been studying television and radio production. In that time, my YouTube channel also grew exponentially, and I made so many amazing friends that I well and truly value. On Friday the 21st of July 2023, the fruit of my labour had finally arrived, as I graduated with a second class honours Bachelor of Arts. Bachelor of Arts with honours, television and radio production. Luke Carruthers. And I celebrated by going to the railway with a heart of gold. So, made it to Manchester Piccadilly. I'm a little bit early, uh, by about an hour and a half. <laughs> but it's gonna be worth it once I get to town. It's gonna to be quite a long journey. First I'm gonna go from here to Shrewsbury and then from Shrewsbury to Tawin. But we'll make it in time for the lecture, uh, as well as spend a little bit of time at the Talicland Railway, just saying hello to people, you know, just, being in the event itself. I'm very excited for this. So for my journey from Manchester to Shrewsbury, no joke, I brought a maths book with me to do some practice because I felt like recently I've been getting rusty with mathematics. But I was so tired from getting up so early that morning that I could not focus. I spent a good three minutes setting up and then just gave up. I've got a break capacity for it. <laughs> So, a quiet journey to my first stop at Shrewsbury it was. I had a bit of time until my next train, so I arranged to meet up with my friend Kara, in which chaos ensued. Alright, so, uh, made it to Shrewsbury, uh, stopped off uh, at this uh, cafe with this stranger. No, 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 no idea who she is, I just sort of like... <laughs> She was, she, was, she was like eating by herself. Felt a little bit sorry for her. <laughs> <laughs> just, <laughs> just, just sort of sat by myself, uh, comfortable. I, 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 I drank this. She got this. I, I, I just, I just drank it myself. Not gonna pay her for it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it should, uh, shouldn't be too long before I'm on my way to Tawin. Really looking forward to that. Yeah, so at the cafe I sat next to, uh, I sat in front of some randomer, and I've done the same thing on the train, haven't I? Hello, hello there. Subscribe to Django Fair 220. 220, yeah, I forget, I forget the numbers at the end of that. <laughs> so yeah, uh, we've caught the train uh, from Shrewsbury to Tawin. Hopefully the, hopefully the journey goes smoothly. I wish I had more to say, but this is why I don't do improv. <laughs> Well, yeah, <laughs> very good. Welcome to the train. Hello, where's Robin? He's in Wales already. Oh, he was the first to arrive after all. Yeah. yeah. Brilliant. So yeah, that's it. Uh, can we get that? Just wait for the camera. Yeah, just wait for the... Well, we'll get Hello. that. We'll get back, get Jack's joining the Jack's joining me We'll meet Robin in Tawin. After meeting up with Harry and Jack on the train, we made our way to meet Robin at Tawin. Once again, like last year, travelling through the beautiful countryside. God, it's lovely out. <laughs> so yeah, we're all here. We are all here. Here it is. 
We have returned. Oh, so good to be back. We couldn't check into our caravan yet, so we made a beeline for the Tallyclone Railway to be amongst Thomas fans and the engines. Just absolutely magical. in motion. It's Lindbergh, it's pleased to see. It's his mech suit. <laughs> okay, so we've made it to where we'll be staying. Everyone's just doing their own thing and I'm sure I speak for all of us when we are all bloody tired. <laughs> no, I'm not. You're not. But when did you start travelling this morning? Very early. Uh, I had to... Uh, I, <laughs> But uh, I, I got up at uh, half five. Christ! On a so I, 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 I wanted to get to like Manchester Piccadilly before the rush hour because then otherwise I'm waiting ages for the next transport for Wales of train. Course, yeah. So I took that. So I took the, uh, that from uh, Manchester to Shrewsbury, and then I hung around. Uh, I then hung around in uh, Shrewsbury with my, with my friend Cara for a while whilst I waited for my next one. And uh, yeah, I got the same train as uh, you and Harry. Yeah, Jack and Harry have been all day for you. <laughs> Is it you and Harry, Jack and Harry. Still, uh, uh, I think I think once I get myself like a Pepsi from the co-op, I'll be energised enough for the lecture. Definitely. Once we dropped off our bags in the caravan, we headed to the Magic Lantern Cinema for the lecture slash talk. We were a bit late, but it worked in our favour as we got the best seats at the back. Look at look at the seats that we've got. I know, right? We were late and we got these seats. Best seats that yeah, I, I like that we were late. This is magnificent. We were given a very interesting and emotional talk from Veronica Chambers, the daughter of Wilbert Audrey, on growing up in the Audrey household and railway series production info. Then we were given a performance of reading fan letters written to Wilbert asking him questions about the books, and the letters he wrote in response read aloud by Tim Dunn, the presenter from last year's lecture. I afterwards managed to get my copy of Gallant Old Engines signed by both him and Veronica. This is now one of my most valuable possessions. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't uh, record a lot of the uh, lecture. Uh, I mean, I took. I mean, I took some uh, a lot of photos of it. It was. It was. It was a very nice event. Uh, Harry was the auction winner this time. Yeah, what did I you, won. What did you win? I won a copy of Sword of Between the Lines. I believe it was signed by Christopher. Or something mm -hmm. like that. Yeah. Yeah. So Christopher Audrey signed copy of. Sort of between the lines. It's not the only sign thing I've got this weekend because I bought a little copy of Four Little Engines in the gift shop, and I took that to the lecture and I got Tim Dunn to sign that. Yeah, uh, I, yes, yeah, I, I took my I took my own copy of a gallant old engine, got it signed by Veronica Chambers and Tim Dunn. It's a it was a great night last night, wasn't it? It yes. was a very great Absolutely. night. I had a lovely conversation with Tim Dunn as well because 
uh, I, I went for Eleniana the, and, he, and Tim's just done a lot with Eleniana so I just subtly mentioned it like that and, and he just he just had so much appreciation for the fact that I work for that company now <laughs> so that was just like he was, he was so pleased to hear about that it was just so yeah. good yeah, I, I would have allowed Rico to this like after we got back, but by that point we were just we, we were so fucking exhausted, weren't we? Yeah, so we just ended up watching Wallace and Gromit instead. Yeah. Uh, so no, uh, t- uh, today's uh, the day of uh, many events. Uh, three. Yes. Yeah, three. Uh, the, uh, it's, it's the pop special train, the exhibition, and the photo charter, which I'm definitely gonna bring this along for it. I'm. I'm I'm, I'm very excited about it. Are you guys? I am too. I'm gonna pick up my right. prize. <laughs> I'm gonna pick up my prize. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and as we said, signed by Christopher Audrey himself. That is right fantastic. Like that. that is a fantastic thing to gain, gain a hands-on in the lecture after what Luke won last year with the Oliver Box. So it's a good win-win yeah. situation. Yeah, definitely. Right. Okay, so uh, yeah, uh, we made it. Have a good trip, Luke. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So yeah, we made it uh, we made it to train on time. Uh, missed out on sitting on the blue coach at the front. I didn't really want it. I didn't really want to, to be perfectly honest. So. On a day like this though. Yeah, on a day like this, the, the, the weather's massively improved. I just hope that yeah. that rain cloud isn't heading in our general direction. Yeah, we'll see, mm. We're going to be the ones laughing when that rain cloud comes and then we're, yeah. and we're yeah. the Just in time for the photo charter. <laughs> just in time. walk up to the people in the blue coach and be like, nice day isn't it? <laughs> Smithing, isn't it? But no, uh, this, is, uh, the pop, this is the pop special based on uh, the railway series story of the same name. One of the best stories, isn't it? Pop it special. totally is, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, we'll be going to what, what station is it? We're going Abigano. to Abergano. Abergano, the one, the one I keep forgetting to pronounce. So yeah, we made it to Abergano station. It's just down there. We're just out here having our lunch. It's the pop special. <laughs> it didn't come with a can of pop. We had to get them ourselves. It's a scam. Yes, yeah, it's, <laughs> it's a scam. Fake news. It's it's, it's 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 just like the real pop special. <laughs> I thought they gave us the well greatest that is glass bottle pop. The absolute greatest taste that thing has. Like, not, 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 not sponsored, by the way, not sponsored. Yeah, but that's what Coca Cola is the greatest tasting thing in the world. Like, he says, I'll oh, get a can of pepper. <laughs> <laughs> they only sold this! Coca Cola. I wanted man, to drink Coca Cola. <laughs> you were the chosen one! <laughs> I wanted to drink Coca Cola, but I'm stuck with Pepsi. They say 70% like Pepsi Max in that advert. I mean, I thought it's alright, it's not the best. But, and you get that annoying, let me hear say, yeah, and the song now playing in the advert. I fucking hate it. Then it was a quick dash back for our next event, which was the Audrey exhibit. We were running a little late, but made it to the place in time to get a good look at everything on display, including Henry's TV prop. As one would expect, I was particularly happy to see this. Afterwards, we spent a little more time wandering around Tawin Station, talking with fans and even getting recognised, which is always a nice thing to happen. Then, we boarded for the final train of the extravaganza, the photo charter. Oh, here we go. God, I have to keep changing the ISO on this. Well... Sounds like a very fine food. Well, and we're off. And we're off. Wait a second. Not the steaming problem. And being only 9 tenths completed. Bye, Luke. Have a good evening. We missed out on this event last time, so getting to take part this year in recreating Railway Series illustrations on the line with Duncan was an absolute treat.
many photos were taken and much enjoyment was had. Right the way up to Duncan taking us home to Tower Wharf Station to cap off the event. Jesus. And that concludes the Audrey Extravaganza 2023. What a time it was. No, I'm so glad we're here more than just for, just a, for, for a full week rather than just a weekend this time. Oh, absolutely, yeah. yeah. We go home tomorrow, like, literally like everyone just got here. <laughs> Monday was a chilled out day. We just wandered around Tawin once more with the now faceless engines, getting plenty of good shots. I'm particularly proud of this one I got of Dolgok. also encountered my arch nemesis. On our adventures around Tawin, we found this quaint little library and decided to have a look inside, upon which I found the novelisation of Rogue One, and chose to borrow it for the week to give it a read. I got about as far as the prologue. <laughs> <coughs> what can I say? We were very busy. Speaking of which, Tuesday was when we ventured out to Porth Maddock for another famous narrow gauge railway the Festiniog and Welsh Highlands Railway.
Oh, this is us. Also, funny thing, I'd bought a bottle of Febreze from the shop in Tawin because I kept forgetting to get some, and that was right before we caught the train to Porth Maddock. So for the entire journey across the Festiniog Railway, I carried a bottle of air freshener with me. This bottle has been on a journey and a half. Once we got back, the weather really brightened up. I tried to get a tracking shot of one of the engines leaving the station, with... mixed results. All right, so we're just hanging out at Porth Mahog Harbour. That car alarm has been going off through four times now, and uh, Jack, Jack and I are absolutely spent trying to dance to the rhythm. We've been uh, moving and grooving and rocking and reeling and Yeah, we have. <laughs> well, we just come back from the, the Festiniog Railway. That was a very, very nice trip, wasn't the it? Mountain spirit to blow off Festiniog all the way there and back. Yeah, very nice journey. That beautiful scenery up there, especially once the weather cleared up, which. It said it was going to be scattered showers today. I, I, I don't see it. They're very scattered. Oh, I got this right. 
uh, and uh, it, uh, it wasn't showing up on the scanner system, probably because it's from 2001. And uh, the poor girl on the um, um, on, on the till turned to like uh, the older guy and said, uh, "What would you call that?" <laughs> <laughs> oh. And I thought, oh, oh no. We're, we're, we're getting old. Yeah. <laughs> it was just, I think it was actually the charity shops, didn't you say? Yeah. Well, check the VHS, it's the head oh, yeah. to the charity shops. Yeah, yeah. we're now going to head to the charity shops before catching our train back to Tawin in this lovely, lovely day. Look at that. Stunning. Fantastic. Wednesday was a very different day. My good friend Harry decided to run along the pathway close to the Talaclin Railway from Pendray to Abergenolwyn. We met him as we caught a later train and went on to the end of the line, Nat Gwernal, exploring a pathway that went around the now abandoned slate mine in Bryn in Gluis. I took photos and videos on my phone so as not to damage my film camera. Thursday was another quite chill day. Robin and I stopped by the Tallyclin Railway so I could get some Welsh jam from the gift shop. And I admittedly got very... philosophical. You're on. Right there is the most important engine to the Tallyclin Railway. Had she given at any point, this railway may not have even existed. There would have been no railway series connections, therefore no TV adaptations. We never would have known about the Scarlowy railway engines, and Wales would have felt just a tiny bit more empty. And as Robin mentioned, the Festiniog railway may not have been as important, or, or felt as important, with, with the lack of this engine, or the, this railway. So while while that Dolgok isn't a lot of like, people's personal favourite engine, she is the most important for what she represents. And her story kind of gets, I feel, swept under the rug in the community. She's not just an engine, she's an absolute warrior, an undefeated champion. She's the true definition of the British spirit that says, no, I'm not going to stop here, I'm going to keep going and I'm going to keep this important part of our country alive. It's absolutely, absolutely magnificent. And there we go. Friday was our last full day in Tawin, so we made the most of it by taking the train to Dolgok and paying a visit to the Dolgok Falls. Slate trucks.
everything about this place it just takes me back to Rivington. So I'm currently under a bridge that goes under, uh, 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 as a bridge that the line uh, goes across over this very quaint little, uh, I want to say river stream, I don't really know about the difference, but it is, it is quite shallow water. It goes all the way down there. And everything about the Telequin Railway just screams Rivington to me, it screams home. And being in a place that feels so similar to home right after graduated, it feels welcoming, very welcoming. I tried to get a shot of Sir Hayden crossing the viaduct and missed it, but hey, I managed to get Dolgok moments later. And then I got Sir Hayden later, pulling our last train of the day and our holiday overall. That night, as my friends and I were packing, I paid one last visit to the station after hours, and man oh man, was it worth it. So, uh, this is the final day. Uh, we're, uh, we're, we're each going to be like heading down to like catch our trains at different times. Mine's first. Uh, hopefully the weather holds together today whilst I'm journeying home. While we're all journeying home. And yeah, it's going to be tough to say goodbye to this place. We walked past the Teleclin Railway together one last time and made our way to the big station platform. 
I bid farewell to my good friends and boarded my train, getting to see them from the window as I left. This holiday in Wales was... magical, but not just for the already amazing Audrey extravaganza where ourselves and many other Thomas fans across the globe were together in one place, but fully getting to bask in the absolutely stunning and tranquil towns of Wales. I truly felt like I lived in that part of Wales for a lengthy amount of time, full of drop-dead gorgeous scenery, brilliant food, and some of the kindest people on this planet. Just like last year, the extravaganza made me feel truly part of the Thomas community, and getting recognised was so validating. And getting to celebrate my recent graduation with awesome friends, in a stunning location, close to a wonderful heritage railway, was fantastic. I wouldn't have traded it for anything. Thank you.